Ah, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mount God Magnation. I just took a screenshot for no apparent reason. I don't know why I did that, but welcome back to <laughs> Mount God Magnations. I am the Mad God. We're playing Hearts of Iron 4 with our Better Ireland campaign. We've got the mod installed. We're enjoying it, actually. I really like this tree. I, I think it's quite cool. Well done, that man. Uh, if you want to go uh, try out the mod yourself, it is, of course, in the uh, Steam uh, workshop kind of thingy. Just search Hearts of Iron first of all and then go for Ireland. You'll see it. It's got five star rating. It's awesome and I think we should all be great for it. Grateful for it. Uh, unlock seven more focuses. Don't know what the fuck this does but worries me. Um, does it give me like remains active until you change focus again? I, I think I can collect one but I don't know what this thing does so I'm scared. Uh, we're currently working through some stuff over here uh, just to get us our city factories, get our economy going. We're building more factories so we can build and build. I've got my projects to make Ireland fantastic. Uh, it's already pretty great, but we're going to make it spectacular uh, because we're Ireland. And, you know, people need to appreciate that we are awesome. Um, it's, it's just a fact. Not enough equipment to train. We are running... We don't have enough gun at the moment, which is a problem that seems to plague me in my playthroughs. I have remembered to actually set my timer this time, so we will have the proper 20-minute part, uh, as opposed to the higgledy-piggledy, I will just end it whenever it feel, felt right. Um, but I hope you're all well. I hope you're keeping your... I hope you've been having a good day since the last time I spoke to you. Uh, I hope lots of things happen. Let me know what's going on in your life down below. I always like to chat to you. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think what else I need to do at this point. We're just really watching the world. Oh, the anglo irish trade wars. Oh, new text. The anglo irish trade war, also known as the economic war, though not a real war per se, had a disaster effect on post-Great Depression Britain and Ireland. However, the year, uh, Confirmation of Agreements Act, has established the end of the war, and now the Irish and British industry will benefit from more free trade. Finally! There we go. And all we get from that is a factory. Uh, they get fuck all, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so we get a factory, they get nothing. So next we're going to get the Glimmer Man event. Um, requires reclaim IRA munitions. <laughs> hmm. Do we want to go through this? I kind of want to get to the research as quickly as possible. So we are going to go through uh, Bornemona. Bornemona. Let's go. Probably said that wrong. Uh, I, my Gaelic is poor. Uh, to say the least, if not non-existent. I know how to say Pope Mahone, but that's just standard. If you don't know what that means, I apologize. I've just kind of insulted you and told you to kiss my ass. But I may have said that incorrectly, so I may not have actually insulted you, and I may have just been talking gibberish. These are the problems that I face in my life, ladies and gentlemen. These are the problems that a mad god faces. Uh, Spain is currently doing what Spain does best, which is fight itself. Um, and offer fantastic holiday deals. Um... I think we're going to go for uh, excavation level one because that is a key part of our technology into getting somewhat more resources than the shit we currently have. We will be waiting to take some fascist land and I will be eyeing some up like... Do, does these things have anything worth anything? No. This place does though. I'm pretty sure this is going to be where I fuck up when I go after the, the nationalists. The fascists. Boo. Boo them. Boo them. Hmm. I am going to well and truly wreck them, as the kids are known to say. Uh, <laughs> and I, if I get control of Gibraltar, I suddenly become a lot more powerful. And finally, people will appreciate what the Irish do. Control your seas by showing up and fucking up your places. Yeah, biatches. <laughs> I don't know who I'm being ultra-aggressive to right now, but I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying it, so I'm going to continue. <laughs> I am exporting most of my steel. Which is a severe problem, which is why we're also trying to pump out as many factories as we can, because we fucking need them. <laughs> which is just a fact of the matter. I uh, just need this to keep ticking. We've got 44 political power. Uh, research, obviously, uh, 60 days until we get support level 1. Just get our guys who... Here, hello. Hello, chums. Get them some better guns. We've got another unit in training, so they should be out fairly quickly. We just need some more gun. But once we get that done... We will then be will then be stockpiling guns, which would be great. Oh, we, they're here. Hello, chums, join in. Um, uh, I do like this whole thing. This is fantastic. Guard the coastline, chums. No, that's there. We go. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what I've told them to do. Or is this deactivated? Ah, uh, hang on. Oh, so with all of these activated, 
they will do all of them. I see. So we need at least four for this to do it correctly. I get you now. This makes way more sense. So whichever ones you want, you can like have them do everything or you can have them do very little. What the fuck is this guard airbase? Oh. We don't need you to guard the air bases. No one's going to fly over us. Plus, if they are flying in, they're coming in for Ryanair. They're not going to get here. We're not going to worry. They'll come in with their guns. They'll be lost in baggage. They'll wind up somewhere completely different. Italy has beaten the Ethiopians. Um, and what I guess was a neck-and-neck -neck contest of military brilliance. Poor Ethiopia. I never... I'm ne I probably... I may actually, now that I think about it, I might try an Ethiopia campaign down the line. Hmm... That would have to be a fascist campaign, I think. Because, before everyone gets pissy at me for thinking about Ethiopia fascism, there's a whole lot of British territory right there <laughs> that I could very easy go um num 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 on. Um num num, um num num, all of this could be mine in Ethiopia. The great Ethiopia, all of this, I could do what I did with the United States and conquer most of Africa. It will be glorious. Uh, normal Spain is getting the ass kicked by national Spain. I'm guessing the Germans are in there doing their thing. What are the Germans up to? Which is always a good question. Industrial effort. They're just building some factories. Which it means they're going to be building weapons of war. Of course, uh, we now have eight factories on the go, which is great. Um, 12th of May. That's not as long to wait for a factory to be finished. Got all these projects to work on as well. We also have synthetic refineries that I would very much like to build. Because... It does things. Uh, I know I put that in front of that, but no. Cool. Let's get that. If we can start producing a little bit more resources, I will feel a bit better about myself. <laughs> Just that little bit better. Uh, we have no units in training right now because we are currently uh, stockpiling weapon. Go away. Um, yeah. So we'll get a nice stockpile of entry equipment. And then we'll feel better about lives, about our lives, and things will be good. My English is just appalling. It's, I'm just not used to recording. Uh, the Glimmer Man. The, su uh, the supply of coal in Ireland is dwindling away. Many of the ga uh, gas works have shut down. While research is being done using peat rather than coal, the Irish government has begun to lighten the controls on gas supply with the Minister of Supplies, threatening an official... Oh, tighten controls on gas with the Minister of Supplies, official, official ration of gas. This has led to inspectors checking people are not using gas after certain times. Being nicknamed Glibberman, but Dev, the gas stove, and the Glibberman. <laughs> the most Irish button there's ever been. Uh, Born Mona. Okay, so we're, we're running out a bit of gas here. But let's get to that extra research slot. That is what we're after. More tech. We will become uh, titans of the thought and ideas and philosophy, which we, we kind of are. Like, there's, there's a good for a bit of thought. Mainly because we're drunk most of the time. Hell, I'm not having drank anything today, I'm probably drunk right now. Um. <laughs> One day I'm going to have to play it, do a Hearts of Iron campaign where I'm just complete. I've got a buzz going for the entirety of the campaign. Just sitting there, just drinking whiskey the entire time. Ah, oh, I should have really be doing that for this right now. Hmm, because I'm in Ireland, but it is only like, like one o'clock in the afternoon. So uh, when I'm recording this, probably not the best time to be hitting the whiskey. Um, or the right time, a perfect time to be hitting whiskey. Right? Oh, let me know in the comment section below. When is it too early to start drinking? What do you think? Let me know down below. This is how I promote engagement. Let's ask about your drinking habits. And what do you like to drink? What is your drink of choice? I am generally quite curious. I am a whiskey guy. I like the hard liquor. So I, I drink it straight. Um, I like I, Pandaren whiskey. Quite nice. Welsh whiskey. Lovely. Irish whiskey, of course, is the best of all. <laughs> no question asked. But I do like a bit of Pandaren. It's a fantastic Welsh brand. If you've never heard of it, well, I've taught you something new today. But let me know what you drink. Um, down below. If you drink, if you're too young, you know, and you're not of the right age to be drinking now. Tell me, I want to hear Ribena, Sunny Delight, Capri Suns, which, to be fair, Capri Suns are fairly badass. I want to hear Tropicana, Milk. I don't want to hear any alcohol from you, people. Don't make me call your ma. I will call your ma. I don't even know how I'm going to do that, but I am going to call your ma. What will she say when I tell her? She'll listen to me. People listen to me for some bizarre reason. I still don't know what this fucking thing does. I am still baffled. How to upgrade the, these oil plants. Uh, but I don't care about that right now. That's not, that's not the, the problem at the moment. We need motorised. We need trucks. Broom, broom, broom. Broom, broom, broom. I also need to prepare my... Uh, oh shit, I need this as well, don't I? Yeah. Gonna need some of that. 
Uh, what else can I build? I like to have supplies, really. I like to plan, I like to have things ahead of time, ready to go, it's good. It takes a lot of stress out of life if things just naturally just flow. Let's just go with the flow. I am mad, God. I don't want to make decisions. If I have to make decisions, it means my brain, which is pretty much a dice, will come up with some stupid bullshit. Let's face facts. When I say I'm going to fight Germany or France, I wind up conquering Africa. Cuz. <laughs> when I say I'm going to con like be fascist here, I wind up doing some really stupid shit. I seem to wind up fighting the Africans an awful lot. Um, I don't know why. I'm quite worried that it's going to come across a bit racist eventually if I keep invading Africa. I r maybe it's not racist actually because I really want to go there. I want to go there so bad I'm willing to conquer it for the opportunity to go there. Hmm. Weird way to put that in perspective. Absolutely bullshit, but yeah. <laughs> uh, trying to justify what? Why does the European fella keep going to Africa to declare? Well, I don't know. I don't know, Mad God. Why does he keep doing that? I, don't, I just don't know. Couldn't be any reasons at all. It's just it's easy territory to take. They're not wait. They're not expecting the Irish. Nobody expects me. When I was the Americans, nobody expected the Americans to show up. And finally, I defeated Liberia. That was ah. Oh. That was a great moment, wasn't it? When I finally, after all those years of trying, I finally beat Liberia. <sighs> Several times I could have warned Liberia. It hasn't gone well for me. Last time it did go well for me. At times. At other times it was fucking baffling what was going on. But. Still. Click. Yeah. I don't get how the upgrade on that works. Um, I really don't. I think it's a waste of research, so I'm not going to bother with it for the meantime. Dispersed energy, cool. That's something we like. That gets us building faster. Um, also locks out this tree for the moment. Let's go into here. Let us get the radio up and running. No. Let's go for the big one. Let's go mechanical computing. Get that. Get the 3%. Up, bumps up the 10%. I will feel a lot better. And just shave a tenth of all research. Uh, we're to get the extra research slot, of course. Which will mean even more stuff getting researched. Yay. Uh, we are well and truly just burning through this line. I'll maybe go into... Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to go after this. I think I'll, no, I'll do this. I'll get to here. Requires all the following. Okay, so can we get to here? Requires all the following. Shit. So this, these two will be... These three will require a while. I'll go into the magazine forge and then reclaim the IRA musicians. Because fuck the IRA. Uh, sorry to anybody who happens to support the IRA, but what the fuck do you expect me to say in that situation? Fuck you. Um, actually, why am I apologizing for stealing your guns? No. <laughs> why am I apologizing to the IRA? <laughs> I would apologize to the fucking IRA for stealing from. Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. <laughs> You know when you just have a really good laugh, it just feels so amazing. That was one of those. Ah, oh, I've almost got tears in my eyes for fuck's sake. Oh, I got the extra resource slot. Fantastic. Let's go into the magazine fort. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's get the radio. Oh. Right. Uh, the communist movement in Ireland. What the, what the fuck? Uh, the Communist Movement are feud by a broad dissatisfaction. I should pause this. Broad dissatisfaction from the working class of our trends among academics has grown large enough to lead to the formation of parties. Uh, after one of these has gained considerable support, the current uh, politicians began to have started debating whether they should let seek the support and form a government. Although they consider our democratic institutions to be little more than a bourgeoisie ty tyranny, they seem to make the changes that uh, through cooperating with the government. Uh, rather reform than revolution, change in popularity, a broad coalition of democracy, uh, preferable. Jeez, my national unity is shit. Wow, wow. Um, 
but... 10%. Um... I'd rather do that. Oh, they did just eat up my thing. That's not right. They're not strong enough to do much, to be fair. They're not growing. They just happen to be strong. But that's nice that they actually... That's actually a thing that happens. Cool. Uh, I think this may be a bit different now, actually. Rather than fully democratic, we do actually have a slightly more diverse political... Which represents Ireland a bit better. So, here's the thing. I am stealing from the IRA. That is classic IRA, however. And uh, as for anyone familiar with the IRAs, there's been quite a few. I think there's the old IRA, there's the provisional IRA, um, the official IRA, the real IRA, uh, Oglin and the Aaron. There's probably a few more in there that I've forgotten. But classic IRA, which I do actually believe, random historical fact, I do believe I had family who may be associated with the classic way, 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 way back IRA. Um... I'm from a mixed background, so yes, <laughs> I was told. I was told family there is somebody way back when who was involved in that kind of thing to a degree. Not sure what degree, and I haven't asked that question. But fun historical facts for you: it's not uncommon for people in Ireland to say that. I believe because it was a thing. <laughs> um, not 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 the bad IRA, the old IRA. Who, yeah. <laughs> I'm still kind of chuckling to myself about that whole thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I apologize to the IRA for stealing their guns. Oh. Uh, it made me laugh. It may, may not have made you laugh, ladies and gentlemen, but it made me laugh. And I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that greatly. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. That's good. That, that may be... If, I'm, if I ever do a title for this video, it will be stealing from the IRA. Um, just got a notification from LinkedIn. Oh, interesting. Who are you? And do I know you? No, but I'll add him anyway. Who are the people just add me? People just distracting me from you, ladies and gentlemen. Distracting me. How long do we have left in this part? Two minutes left. Oh, cool. Uh, we're doing grand. So that's excavation level one done. That gets us a bit more resources. We are now in 1937, so we can move on to construction level two. Let's do this. Um, things are going well. Things are going well. How is our construction going? Slow and steady. Slow and steady. This is going to be a big thing. Getting us just a little bit of extra resources. Um, hmm. So I could put another civilian factory there, or I could put another one of these. Which I kind of want to do. These take a long time to build as well. So I kind of want it now. Uh, how much do they provide? Five oil. This could turn me into an oil supplier, actually, which will be good for me. Uh, for obvious, because that will get me a factory. Fuck you. Go up to the top and then drop down. So if I get these two built, I will then be producing oil. Yay. Um, then I can research once uh, the radio. Oh no. Once motorized is done, I will go into uh, dispersed industry level two, which will give me more factories in the state, which means I can build some more stuff, and all will be well. It'll be great. Ah, oh, we're having fun times, and we haven't pissed off the IRA just yet, but you know that's coming down the line. Uh, <laughs> does it any events? No. Cool. So we get this, and then do I go for the First Amendment or do I go and head down the political political path? Uh, it's not really important. I'd rather do this. I think. Yeah, well, I think we'll mobilize the Irish Defence Forces and then we'll burn down the army side of it, get into this, get our extra research, and then we'll be feeling pretty good. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Uh, how many guns am I currently sitting on? A, a K of guns. You know what? We'll train another troop. Uh, one, add unit. No, shit. We are starting to run low on men, however we do have enough guns for them, so they'll just be trained, we'll pop out, we'll have three men. Great. Um, oh, we still have one factory, next one up is support equipment, because we're going to need to get that in. We're also going to need to get motorised when we ever get that research, because that is part of this, uh, which we're going to need for field hospitals, which will be something else we need to research down the line, which pro I wish we'll probably go motorise into field hospitals, I imagine, actually. Because then in a couple of days, radio will finish and we will go into dispersed industry. That's the plan. I think. Is that smart? Maybe not. Hmm. Don't know. Uh, reclaim IRA musicians. Uh, yeah. This, 
Musicians, yes, we're taking the musicians. Insufficient resources. Oh no! And with that, it is time to end this part, ladies and gentlemen. But thank you very much for watching. I, of course, think of Mad Gods, who Mad God Machinations playing Hearts of Iron 4. I hope to see you all next time. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, answer all the questions, and don't laugh at me for the IRA stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, I hope to see you all then, and bye bye!